Okay, I'm going to uh, look at using Schoology with the application on the iPad Notability. As the teacher, I'm going to create an assignment and attach a PDF worksheet. Uh, we're going to look how the student accesses the worksheet on the iPad, opens it in Notability, answers and submits it. And then the, as a teacher, we're going to view and score it on the Mac, and then the student's going to look at the comments. All right, so here's my teacher account and so I'm acting as a teacher now in this uh, Lindy's Tech in Ed course and in here I'm just going to add an assignment. I'm going to name the assignment and use that for the description as well. Uh, I'm going to change the point value to 10 and I'm going to make it graded and call that homework. I'm going to create this. Oops, forgot to attach the worksheet, so I'm going to go back and edit. And down here at File, I'm going to click on that. I have to locate the file, which is right here, and I'm going to say Choose. It's a PDF file. And then I'm going to add some instructions. Uh, complete the attach worksheet and submit and now I'm going to save my changes Oop, my worksheet failed to load I'm going to exit out and I'm going to go back and attach it Try this one more time. All right, finally it loaded for me, and now I can save my changes. Okay, I'm going to the student view now. This is me as a student, and I'm going to the course as a student and right there's the assignment and view attachments and then I click on that attachment and it opens it but I need to click on this little curved arrow in the upper right corner and I'm going to open in and you have sometimes you have to slide to get the correct application right here it is open in notability and I'm going to create a new note. And now I'm going to use the text. I'm sorry, I'm going to uh, script everything out. And find the missing term. So this one would be change the color. And I'm going to change that to 5. This is uh, negative 4, minus 4. This is uh, 9 for the missing blank. And this is uh, 20x. Using two fingers, I'm going to push the notability screen upward. All right. And find both numbers now. So half of 8 is 4, 4 squared, 16. And here I can actually fill in the blank as we see it. And that means x plus 4 squared. And I'm going to just pretend I finished all those so we can get on with this little video. At this point, I can try to send it. On the upper left, there's a square with an up arrow in it. If I tap that up arrow, all right, I can hit at the very bottom one of my choices is share and I'm just going to make sure that it's in the PDF format okay then I'm going back then I'm gonna say share note and I'm going to scroll till I find Schoology 
and there's a list of assignments that I can submit it to and so I'm going to say submit to assignment and there is only one pending assignment here so uh, it's in I'm sorry there's only one course so I have to select the course and now the assignment alright so the assignment that I'm going to submit it to uh, I would have to scroll through these and find the correct assignment it's the one at the very very top alright and I'm going to say upload so it says that it's been added so that's right from notability and now I'm going back to my teacher view alright and I should be getting a notification if not if I click on the assignment uh, okay I have uh, needs grading so uh, as a teacher I'm T. Lindy on this and as a student I'm Terry Lindenmuth and Terry Lindenmuth needs to be uh, graded so I'm going to click on that I'm gonna view it first alright so I can uh, make it fit or I can make it larger alright and I could scroll down I can add comments here I can strike out I can do a couple annotations down here if I want to but I'm gonna grade this and only give him uh, 5 out of 10 because he only uh, completed 5 of the questions and so I'm gonna add a comment uh, finish your work next time and I'm gonna say show to student and I'm gonna say submit alright so that was pretty quick I could now go back to see what the uh, student gets to look at and I'm gonna just back this up and as a uh, student in this class I could check on this and uh, hit submissions alright and so my submission was on time I got the comment there I got 5 out of 10 and it says finish your work next time okay uh, if I wanted to resubmit something I could hit the plus sign as a student and create a submission or upload something uh, now going back to uh, what the teacher sees the teacher I'm gonna close this because I'm finished grading all these and here I can now look at uh, all the submissions and I could say how many need grading none of them on time one alright I could look at uh, the 27 people that didn't submit it because they weren't ready to do that and look back to that one okay I could also go in the grade book and look how this showed up in my uh, grade book by the way you see I did have a notification up top and I would have to find that grade we have a couple grades in here and I'm going up to this number up top and say okay it says that Terry Lindenmuth the student submitted an item completing the square worksheet alright so I think we did it I think we looked at how to create an assignment by uploading a PDF attached to an assignment the student accessed the worksheet on an iPad they opened it in Notability they answered it and they submitted it right from Notability back to Schoology as a teacher I viewed and scored it on the Mac and then the student got to see his score and his comments.